Okay, so now we're gonna make some Christmas trees. And so here's my dough. It's one pound of dough. It's not that much dough. Um, and if you remember right in the cinnamon roll, if you watch that one, your cinnamon rolls, we had to have them along this way to get the rings, but it's the opposite in these trees. So it's a rectangle still, but the long way is wide this way. And uh, once again, you want it consistent. So I'm gonna do one more roll just to get it consistent. It's pretty good. And I got a little chair here, just pitch that. Okay, so I need my rectangle. And so the same thing with the cinnamon rolls. I put a thin layer of butter on here. Spread it around. Okay, so it's nice and wet. Grab my brown sugar and cinnamon. This is 16 to one, one cup of cinnamon to one tablespoon. Or excuse me, one cup of brown sugar to one tablespoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon goes a long way. So, I mean, you can add like another tablespoon to that mixture because um, there's 16 tablespoons in a cup. Um, so we put 16 tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. If you want to use an extra tablespoon or so, you can get away with it. But anything more than that, I can tell you that it, it might be too strong. Um, so cinnamon can overpower a lot of things. Okay, so rather than roll up like a cinnamon roll, what we do is we take the top two ends, okay? And then you fold them down into each other. And so what you see, it's, it's, you know, it's like a triangle, and then you have that brown sugar and the cinnamon showing at the bottom. This is gonna be your trunk. Okay, so once I do that, and then I do the same thing. Add a little more butter here. And you can use a pastry brush, it just takes longer, so I'm not really gonna take them longer. Okay, so add some more of that stuff there. Okay, so now, we fold in to the middle. And you fold into the middle like so. And then I grab it. Now it's starting to look like a tree. And I put seam side down. Okay. So I flipped it and I got seam side down. And now you can use a knife or you can use a scissors, whatever one you have. Um, I'd actually like to use a scissors, but like I said, you can use a knife. I cut this part and I leave an inch right there solid. Um, okay, so now you have your two ends. Let's see that right there, those two ends right there. And then I twist them and that would be my trunk. So you just twist them, put your ends at the bottom. So your trunk is done. Now we're gonna get the leaf part. So I kind of flatten it, make sure it's um, all pretty consistent. And then we get our branches. And so I'm cutting in about, oh, I don't know, two inches. And then I start down, just kind of find a line here. And, and then what you want to do is, so I'm going to start here. So in between the other one. So you're starting to look like a Christmas tree you now. But then, here's the final. I just show the branches, I kind of, you want people to be able to see it. Okay, so that is your sweet Christmas tree. And we also do a savory one at House of Red. So the savory one is very similar brown sugar and cinnamon. And we also, we do this in the same order in the bakery. So you want to do your sweet trees first because a little bit of brown sugar or butter or cinnamon in a savory tree is not going to matter a whole lot. They're not going to taste it. But if we use a pesto for our savory trees, and you could also use like garlic cheddar or something. And um, the problem is, is when garlic will permeate into everything else. So whenever you're using garlic, do that last on the table. And so now I'm gonna do my savory tree. And it's the same thing, you get, get that rectangle.
and I put some pesto on here. We're gonna need more pesto today. So I like the pesto because it's green and it's kind of Christmassy. Um, so we don't add butter to this or anything like that. It's just pesto, it's wet enough, trust me. Um, and then I'll sprinkle in some sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. So the same thing, you take the top ends of this and you fold into each other. And add more pesto on here. because it's kind of wetter with the pesto. Okay, so now we're gonna do one more fold into each other. So it's like that, okay? Fold in the middle. And then you grab it and seal it, okay? And then now, I'm gonna put it on that shame sheet pan. They basically bake about the same time, assuming the pesto is not too cold, okay? So if you got really cold pesto, it's gonna take longer to bake. Because um, this is a yeasted dough. This is yeasted grandma's wife. Okay, so then I turn it over, put it here. I'm gonna get my tree trunk. I leave about an inch in the middle. Okay, and now I'm gonna twist. Okay. So I've got my tree trunk and the bottom loop is underneath. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut the branches. So same thing. I go about an inch or so apart, and then I go to the middle. Okay, so then I let the branches show. So I gotta get that green stuff out of there and the sun-dried tomatoes. And um, it's red and green for the holidays. So let's say I don't have a sun-dried tomato showing and I want one to show, just put one in there. Um, and then you don't have to do this, but I kind of like to have a little more green on my tree. And so there we go. So there's our Christmas trees. Um, so these guys bake about 30 minutes. Um, you can take the temperature. It has to be at least 180. And we are done with the trees.